CNC Freak here with another unboxing video. I've only got one package this week. It's been a little light. This came from GameStop. Um, it's a pre-order I did. I never do pre-orders, but I saw the trailer for this game for the 3DS that everyone's talking about, saying that it's a very old-school uh, JRPG, and I had to get it. So, as you probably well know what it is, it's Bravely Default. I got the uh, Collector's Edition. And there it is. I can't wait to start playing it. It's going to be awesome. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Next up are my normal pickups throughout the week. On Saturday, I went with my wife to Aaron's Video Game Store, a.k.a. the Video Game Wizard in Seminole, Florida, and spent my $45 store credit I had with him when I traded some stuff in. First is Vegas Dream, then Fist of the North Star, and California Games, all for the NES. Then we have Rayman 2, Taito Legends, and RPG Maker 3 for the PlayStation 2. And next are a few NES games I picked up from him. This is Star Force. I paid $5 for it. This is The Last Ninja. I paid $3 for it. Next is Tiger Heli. I paid $4 for it. This is Cobra Command. I paid $4 for it. And here we have Othello. I paid $3 for it. This is Karate Champ. I paid $4 for it. This is Bad Dudes. I paid $5 for it. And finally, we have Winter Games. I paid $3 for it. On Saturday, I only picked up one Super Nintendo game from Air, and that was Wing Commander, and I paid $3 for it. I also picked up one Atari 2600 game, which was Laser Gates. I paid $4 for it. I also purchased two PlayStation 2 games. The first one is Seek and Destroy. I paid $4 for it. And Heroes of Might and Magic. I also paid $4 for it as well. I also purchased a few original Game Boy games. He originally wanted $5 a piece for them, but his mom, who was managing the store, talked him down to $4, thank goodness. Uh, this is Roland's Curse. Next is Marble Madness, an awesome game. Next is Lock and Chase, probably one of my favorite original Game Boy games. Next is Arcade Classic number 3, which includes Galaga and Galaxium, both awesome games. And here we have Pac-Man. Next is Asteroids. And this is Arcade Classic number 2, which includes Centipede and Millipede. And finally, I purchased three Sega Game Gear games, all for $4 a piece. This is Axe Battler. And this is the Incredible Hulk. And finally, we have Jurassic Park The Lost World. On Sunday, I hit a few flea markets in the area. I picked up these games, three original Xbox games, for $10. First is Ford Racing 2. Then we have Frogger Beyond and Rainbow Six 3 Black Arrow. I also found some PlayStation 1 games for a dollar apiece. This is Mass Destruction, Driver 2, SimCity 2000, Area 51, and Tecmo Super Bowl. I found these PlayStation 1 games for $2 a piece. We have Cool Borders 2 and Assault Destruction. Next I found these three Game Boy Color games for $5 a piece. First we have R-Type DX, then Game & Watch Gallery 3, and then Mega Man Extreme 2. And here we have Kid Icarus for the Game Boy. I was able to get it for $3. I also found two GBA games for $5 each. The first one is Mega Man Battle Chip Challenge, and the other one is Mega Man Battle Network. I found one GameCube game, Mega Man Network Transmission, for $5. I found Ninja Gaiden for the Sega Game Gear. I paid $5 for it. Thought it was a decent deal. Not great, but it is Ninja Gaiden. And finally, probably my best deal of the weekend, it is 13 Dreamcast games for $5. Um, I asked him how much they were, and he said $5, so I ended up just grabbing them all. Um, nothing great, but first we have Sydney 2000, 
which is an Olympics game. We then have a Magical Racing Tour Disney game. Then we have Sega Bass Fishing. Next is World Series Baseball 2K1. Then Maximum Pool. Next is Tee Off, a golf game. Then we have NBA 2K. Next we have Jerry McGrath Supercross 2000. Then Four Wheel Thunder. I hear the Thunder games are awesome for the Dreamcast. Then we have Hydro Thunder. Next is Striker Pro 2000, a soccer game. Then we have NHL 2K. And finally, we have NFL 2K1. That was a great deal, $5 for all those games. I couldn't believe it when he told me the price. And finally today, meaning Monday, me and the wife went up to Webster Flea Market. It's about 35 acres. They're open on Mondays. If you're ever in Central Florida, you should look it up. They're normally not open during the summertime. First up, I got these four games for $15. Uh, three NES and one PlayStation 2 game. First is Jackal, then Knight Rider and Captain Skyhawk, and then Summoner 2 for the PS2. Next up, I got six NES games for $2.50 apiece. We have Pac-Man, then Super Sprint, Double Dribble, Rad Racer, Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, and Platoon. Next up, I got these four games for $2.50 apiece as well. We have Pitfall the Mind Adventure, World of Illusion starring Mickey and Donald, Blades of Vengeance, and Food Fight for the Atari 7800. And finally, I got four Game Boy games for $2.50 apiece. We have Rayman, NFL Football, Looney Tunes Marvin Strikes Back, and Lego's Alpha Team. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe, and I can't believe in less than two months I've already got almost 90 subscribers. Again, thank you very much.